Welcome to Futurescape, where we explore inspiring futures and possibilities. Starting with this video, and as part of a series on the future of jobs, I will focus on some major employment trends that are expected. We are presently living in what's commonly referred to as the Third Industrial Revolution, which started around a quarter century ago in the mid to late 90s, with the advent of digital technologies such as the personal computer, the internet and the rise of the information economy, which transformed life as we knew it. The fourth industrial revolution, also known as Industry 4.0, is a current and developing trend that builds on the third industrial revolution and is characterized by the increasing use of advanced technologies, such as artificial intelligence, genetic sequencing and editing, multi-omics, 3D printing, robotics and autonomous technologies, and the next generation internet. This is expected to lead to the further integration of technology into all aspects of society, including transportation, healthcare and manufacturing, which will result in new forms of production and consumption and will likely transform the way we live and work. Specifically, I will focus on 10 new areas of employment in the coming videos that are likely to increase in demand in the coming years. They fall broadly into five main categories. Continuing strong demand for existing professions, new professions due to the convergence of existing technologies and disciplines, brand new employment categories in areas based on R&D activity today, shifting paradigms and new emerging markets, an increased interest in climate change and the environment, and a similarly growing interest in technology and ethics. While the future is inherently unknown, one thing is clear and irrefutable, that human ingenuity is unstoppable. My very last video on the advances in gene editing treatment is a perfect illustration of this simple fact. So let's take a deep dive into some of these areas and professions, starting in this video with personalized and precision medicine. These are two emerging fields in the area of healthcare, often used interchangeably. And while closely related, they're slightly different concepts. Personalized medicine refers to the tailoring of healthcare to the individual needs of a patient, taking into account factors such as genetics, lifestyle, environment, and one's own medical history. On the other hand, precision medicine specifically refers to the use of genetic and molecular information to understand the underlying biology of a disease and to develop targeted treatments for specific subtypes of the disease or patient subgroups. In other words, personalized medicine encompasses precision medicine as it is really tailored to N equals one or to you. Here's the head of genomics research at a well-known biopharmaceutical company describing precision medicine. We have a million genomes uh, and that's an amazing amount of data and so we have the ability now to go in and start asking questions at a large scale. A blueprint large number of patients that we have information on and now having clinical trials where we can get that information that triangulation between those gives us an amazing power to understand disease and how to build better medicines in the future personalized medicine specialists and associated jobs will likely play an increasingly important role in healthcare as more information about an individual's genetic makeup becomes available. They will analyze genetic data and work with healthcare providers to develop personalized treatment plans. This will include identifying genetic variations that may affect a patient's response to certain medications or treatments, as well as identifying genetic markers that may indicate a patient's risk for certain diseases. They may also need to work closely with other healthcare professionals, such as pharmacists, nurses, and primary care physicians to ensure that the personalized treatment plans are implemented effectively. Here's a medical professional working in this area on her views about the timeline for personalized medicine. Truly, in the next five to 10 years, we will be able to get the right drug to the right patient at the right time at the right dose um, and optimize all of these parameters and her views on the ethical considerations that are involved. So personalized medicine only works when you have participation from patients, right? And what that means is that patients have to or consent to donate their 
blood or their tissue or their biospecimens, which contain that biological um, information, those biomarkers, as well as their clinical outcome data. And so what we need to do is create safeguards that encourage people to you know, make this data accessible so innovators like myself and others can develop these precision medicine tools. But we do it in such a way that you know there's transparency and skate safeguards built in so that people feel comfortable donating and knowing how their data will be used and protected so that we're not risking people not wanting to participate because they're unsure of, of what's going to happen with the data, but rather they feel empowered that by, by participating in this process, they are literally creating the future of medicine. And we need all groups, all ethnicities, all geographies, all people from all different socioeconomic backgrounds to be involved in this process. You know, otherwise we risk increasing health disparities and that's not the future of medicine that we want to create. So that's it folks for this episode of Futurescape. Thanks for watching. And if you got value, please like and subscribe and feel free to comment below. Until next time, be safe and be well.